I'll be more candid now, I guess, about stuff relating to Fuentes. The thing that needs to happen, in my opinion, to take apart somebody's view of the world is they have to be humanized. They have to be. Okay? You have to understand that. That's an incredibly important thing to understand. Um, because given the right set of circumstances, you have your fans uh, that will very rigidly defend you in my community, and then you go into the yes. subreddit and you make posts and you sway the way that people think about things. But I cannot control what you say. I never you said you, hold on, I never, hold on, you, you, you stop. Why are you saying this? You just, no, stop. I didn't say ever that you control what I say. What we were both just talking That's about is can we put- I'm talking about. When I say you're- No, that is not the scale. scale. That's not the moderation. scale. Okay. Oh, fuck. We're gonna do a meme, but then I think I've banned. I think I've um, my the the Fuentes bridge is perma burning. Um, I guess, or maybe not, but who knows? Um, uh, I need to do what I need to do on my side of the internet. And I don't think anybody understands it. Definitely not Max. <laughs> Max is like the last person in the world that can be involved in the stuff that I do. Um, I think when he wanted to have these conversations relating to the Nazi stuff, um, I think I should have just not had those conversations publicly ever with him because um, he had nothing of value to say to me on that matter. And the everything that he's had to say afterwards has been entirely worthless. Um, not only worthless, but it's been poisoning like parts of my community and like the overall discourse um, related to anything that is is going on. So <clears throat> the problem. Okay, I've talked with Supreme a little bit offline about this. Uh, I'll be more candid now, I guess, about stuff relating to Fuentes. Okay, so. Actually, I don't actually care. I'll just be open about everything related to Fuentes now because I don't know if any if that, that whole thing is dead. Okay. So here's some here's just some stuff, okay? Sanitizing Nick Fuentes would be bad. I agreed to that. I did not sanitize Nick Fuentes. Um, demonizing Nick Fuentes is also bad. <laughs> I did not demonize Nick Fuentes. The thing that needs to happen, in my opinion, to take apart somebody's view of the world is they have to be humanized. They have to be. And people mistake the idea of humanizing somebody with sanitizing somebody. And I didn't realize this until halfway through my interactions with Nick because of emails that I'd gotten from Nick's fans. Um, so the problem with sanitizing somebody, what does sanitizing mean? Sanitizing means that you take somebody and you make their views seem better than they actually are. Never done that with Nick in my entire life. If you think I have, you're wrong. You just haven't watched any of our conversations. However, the opposite of sanitizing somebody's views is not holding their feet to the fire or holding them accountable. The opposite is demonizing somebody. This is a heads up. Okay, so sanitizing somebody's views are bad because when you do that, you give people the impression that they're not as radical as they actually are or that they are um, just that, that they're not as radical as they actually are. Like, oh, well, this is a normal thing or this isn't that extreme or blah, 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 right? The problem with a demonization of somebody though, which is what... Um, Mr. Girl wants to do, ironically enough, saying, and I know he's going to have like 50 million. He's like, well, I'm not talking about demonizing him. I'm just thinking about he'll, he'll, he'll have like a way to Mr. Girl his way out of the conversation, but I'm not interested in playing the word games right now. I'm just being frank, right? The problem with demonizing somebody, it's the same issue when you think about Nazis, okay? Like, <clears throat> Nazis are people that are fundamentally evil and I could never be a Nazi and I think that like there's just something wrong with all of their brains, okay? That's, um, that's not true, okay? Every Nazi was a human being and every human being has the potential to be a Nazi. Okay? You have to understand that. That's an incredibly important thing to understand um, because given the right set of circumstances, you've got things like the Milgram experiment that you know show how many people will be pushed to deliver a 300 volt shock to somebody on the other end, even when they've stopped responding. Okay? Um, and there's a whole bunch of other like social psych experiments that show that people can like defer commands to people, that people can be conditioned to do crazy things, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Um, People in certain environments can, can can be made to do things that seem inhuman just because of the environments they're in. Um, it's not even something, I don't even care to argue that. That's just like a, uh, it's a fact of the matter. So demonizing somebody is not good because you make it seem like those particular political beliefs can only be held by a demon. Only an inhuman person could ever believe something like racism or sexism or homophobiaism or deadbeat dadism, right? Only a crazy person can believe that, okay? So my goal is not to sanitize. I'm fighting against people that are demonizing. My goal is to humanize. That actually is my goal. 
I do want people to see Fuentes as a normal human being who eats chicken and waffles and can hang out with people and blah, 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 blah. Because it's important to one, recognize in other people that plenty of people can hold these types of beliefs. And two, recognize that you at some point in your life can hold those types of beliefs. It probably would only take two or three bad friends, two or three weeks to start to significantly shift your opinions on things just through humor and you don't realize it. Most people think they'd be impervious to it. You're not. I don't even know if I would be. I think if I had the right set of friends, I might find myself thinking weird things in a couple of weeks if we said certain jokes or did certain things after a period of time, okay? Um, <clears throat> most of the positive emails that I received from, um, okay, let me back up one more step. When I'm looking at like, the okay, two things clicked for me a little bit ago. One had to do with mass shooters and the other had to do with like the gripper community. And when I'm trying to figure out like, okay, well, who are these people? Why did they believe the things they do? What kind of community is it? Um, when, when <clears throat> I don't remember. I don't know if I've said this on stream or this has just been in private chats. I think this has just been in private chats so far. When um, when people think of the griper community, people will look at the griper community and think that like, it's this highly radical group of people that log into chat, getting marching orders from Fuentes so that they can like gear up, go prepare with like their white nationalist friends for the incoming revolution, get ready to stage a secondary January 6th event. Boom, 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 boom. This is like what a griper is, okay? Number one threat to democracy, peace, freedom, and security of the United States. I think that what a griper actually is, is I think that there's like a collection of people that are like pretty lonely, don't have very many friends, don't feel like there's many people in society that are like speaking at them. And they kind of have like a community where they feel like they can go and hang out and they have like their racist memes, but it's like a place where basically you go, you type, you, you know, Nick is funny, you laugh with him, you laugh with your fellow community members. Yeah, you make a lot of racist and anti-Semitic jokes, but it's like your community. It's like your place on the internet that you feel like you belong and it's the only place in the community that like can, can, can understand you or hear you out. And that's like the lens that I view um, the griper people through. I don't think that it's through some hyper-radicalized extremist military fascist faction ready to conduct World War III, like the second revolutionary war in the United States. I think this is a group of like pretty lonely dudes, um, not even all white really, but just like a group of like pretty lonely young Zoomer men that kind of like feel lost. And Nick is kind of like this charismatic voice that carries them through the darkness essentially. Um, so with that in mind, so there are a couple of goals or were, a couple of goals or things that I have um, when it comes to dealing with Nick. So one is trying to be relentlessly good faith to show that there are people that will not only like listen to you, but people that like will even let you make a few mistakes and like still try to like advocate for you in your corner, um, which I did relentlessly with Nick. Um, even if it didn't ultimately work on him, uh, I got a lot of emails from people. The emails that I got, the words that I got, so what people I think are looking for is like, wow, Destiny, you de-radicalized me and now I'm a social Democrat and I love trans people and blah, 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 blah. Um, that wasn't the type of messages that I normally got. Usually what it was, was these were like the interesting emails to me. It was people basically saying like, I used to see Nick as this like unassailable God figure who was kind of like the leader of my movement online. And when I see you guys hanging in real life, what I realized is that Nick is kind of just like a nerdy, normal dude, like kind of like me. And it was really interesting to like see him in that perspective. Um, that basically like seeing that he's kind of like an awkward, funny dude in real life, um, just like changed the way that they kind of viewed Nick. It made him seem a lot less a lot less untouchable as like a figure and that maybe he wasn't like this kind of like untouchable god person that they'd seen on stream a lot so i think a lot of the actions that people saw me take in terms of like oh my god you're humanizing nick that's horrible i think that humanizing him in front of his audience is good because i don't think they view him as a human a lot of the people see him as almost like a deity or deity uh, like this figure that like is like this god emperor that's like leading them through the darkness the shepherd leading the sheep and blah 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 i think showing him in a more human light was like look this is like a normal dude he laughs he's kind of awkward he, you know blah 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 it's like the first step towards kind of like moving people in this idea of like okay we shouldn't worship people online and you know this guy isn't like a perfect unattackable god um, and then it also makes me a bit more endearing to them ideally as well because i'm the one that's like kind of facilitating this process the problem is that one that process is really hard to do in the open because I can't say like, I understand you guys are all lonely fucking losers, so let me be nice to you because it looks it sounds weird and condescending. But two, if I don't say that, I've got these weird games being played in the background where people like Mr. Girl or a lot of you guys are acting like the stakes are like the end of the fucking world if like you don't do this actually perfectly. Like you're playing a really risky fucking game here. You're like, you're gonna fuck up. Like if you fuck up, it's the end of the world. It's not the end of the world and there is nothing to fuck up here. Um, not to be rude towards Nick, but the reality is, is that I'm in the best position 
of my life to practice this type of conversation because Fuentes has a hardcore social ceiling on where he can ever go to. He's never growing on me on Twitter. He's never growing on me uh, off of like YouTube subs. He's never like going back on Twitch. Like the guy's vertical ascent is, is like dead on arrival. Like he, there's nowhere for him to go. He can't go up. Um, so like the risk, even if I fumble and fuck up everything, the risk isn't really there in terms of like Nick exploding into some figure. He's not gonna be the next president of the United States. He's not, like his political future is fairly dead unless he radically changes his platform. There is no risk there. Now, I can't say this publicly in the past because it makes it look like I'm kind of like shitting all over and blah, 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 blah. But it's why, it's why um, there's only a wave of fascist legislation in motion, no biggie destiny. Lost Highway, I'm permabanning you for my channel. I just want you to know that I know for a fact that if I were to pull you into my Discord right now and ask you to define fascism, you would stumble over yourself like the disgusting fucking loser you are, okay? Go back to your college campus, go suck off your fucking sociology professor, get the fuck out of here, you loser fuck. And make sure that after you swallow your, their cum, you use the they-them pronouns that I'm sure that they refer to themselves as, okay? You fucking loser, get the fuck out of my chat. Um, <clears throat> the, um, w when I, um, <clears throat> Yeah, so ultimately the goal was, look, Fuentes is like a human dude. We're chill, we're cool, everything is fine. This is a normal human being. Like you can have normal human being conversations with this person. Um, you don't have to be like, feel like you're lonely and so like crazy shit. And I even started to see some level of integration with um, like gripper people into my chat in non-toxic ways. So like the Kai Clips guy is actually like fairly funny. And generally, when he's in my chat, he's not acting like fucking insane. He's not being like a crazy griper, blah, blah, blah. And there are a few people, some that you don't know about, that are like participating in my community and in my chat. And then everybody's looking like, oh God, the griper, blah, 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 take over. That's good. I welcome that. I want more like of those far right people hanging out in my chat because one, I know they're not going to be as extreme here. Two, they're going to be exposed to jokes, humors, and ways of socializing that aren't as like politically extreme. And three, um, um, three, fuck, there was a third one. Um, oh, fuck, I just forgot. I just slipped my mind. I just read something else in chat that triggered me, and I didn't ban the person. I should have banned the person. Um, <clears throat> whatever. Those two points are enough. Um, yeah, getting them out of their communities into my chats and everything. Um, like, yeah, it gives them, like, other communities to, 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 like, be a part of and show that, like, you know, to be crazy, blah, blah, blah. But, um, yeah, I, I, think, I think all of that, like, was positive. That was kind of, like, the idea or the goal is to, like, that kind of, like, relentless positivity. But, um... The, this idea of like, Fuentes was sanitized by Steven and the DGG versus Griber conversion zero sum game idea was wrong and irrelevant. Mr. Girl doesn't know how to have these conversations. He doesn't know how to talk to people that disagree with him in almost any way whatsoever. He has a really big problem understanding any other point of view besides his own. And when confronted with evidence or logics that show that he might be incorrect, he has self-reinforcing ways of making it so he never has to listen to any of that critique. So I, like, he is the he is the worst type of person to have these types of conversations and probably one of the last people's criticism that I care to have in my head regarding these conversations. Um, the problem with Fuentes was never that he was sanitized. The problem with Fuentes is that he's been demonized for so long that people don't view his beliefs, beliefs that a human being can have. Um, there's like, a, there must be like a video game um, or like a, the Pirates of the Caribbean where like in order to destroy somebody, you have to humanize them first. My goal is to destroy Fuentes. I just want to show that like all of us are people at the end of the day, like people can have like different beliefs and opinions and some might even be really fucked up, but it's important to understand that at the end of the day, it's all just normal people. There's nothing extra special about Fuentes. The dude's like fucking 23 years old. Um, the problem is that people can't argue against what he believes. Sure, but like, let's see like what happened, okay? I was right. Fuentes was sent by Steven. The like, zero sum game, blah, 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 was irrelevant. What happened on when he went on to No Jumper. Like, did he magically turn the entire audience into Nazis? Like, it didn't happen. The whole audience like rebelled against him. Like all of them hated the fuck out of everything that he said, right? Like, it's not like, um, it's not like he went and all of a sudden like, oh my God, No Jumper's audience are like full fucking Nazis now. No, the people fucking hated him. It was insane. Uh, even without Adam being like the best type of platformer for those conversations, because I haven't even watched I it yet, to be honest, but apparently it was very, very, very challenging. Um, I say challenging, they just did bad. But um, yeah, so um, yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> there are a couple of big like posters on, they have like a forum on, I'm not going to say the site, but they have a forum where they communicate against themselves and they have like thought leaders that like talk about things going on and blah, blah, blah. And it was interesting because a lot of them, 
a lot of like the larger posters on the sub seemed to understand that I was coming at things in as good faith as possible. And it was interesting too, because there was a huge analysis that one of them had written up, I think his name is Andrew, I don't remember, I have to go back and find out, about how basically like um, like the, the recent spat with Destiny like retroactively shows that Fuentes' huge deep platforming arc with um, Ethan Ralph was like a huge mistake for the community, that it was limiting the growth and blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, it seemed like parts of their community, or at least the bigger figures, were kind of understanding what was going on, even if they ultimately wouldn't have agreed with me politically or whatever. Um, but yeah. What are you going to do? Uh, Nick was already bigger than you? Uh, absolutely not. I'm 99% sure that the numbers on his um, on that website are probably inflated. Um, I don't put, put much stock in it, but... Even Paul hates Fuentes. Um, it wouldn't surprise me. I haven't read the politics board now. Oh, I also, um, I don't know if after hanging out with him and getting a feel for him and everything too, nobody will ever believe me, but I'm I'm pretty sure, um, just because I think I think this bridge is totally fucking nuked. Yeah, XYZ, those pictures are weird. Um, I If you were to hold a gun to Nick's head and, and try to get him to espouse his true actual political beliefs, I think that he's actually way more center-right um, then he comes off as. I think there's a lot of audience capture that exists there, but it feels like he's traveled enough around and he's talked to enough people that I don't actually know if he can be as far right as he comes off as stream, which is funny because I think people have the impression that he's actually way further right and he's moderated himself for a stream, but I don't think so. I think he plays up some of the far right stuff for the stream because he kind of has to. I think that he's like had a lot of experiences in life and he's gone through some things where it's like, there's only so many people that you can meet and there's only so many things you can do for you to have like most, in my opinion, most really racist backwards far right beliefs usually just come from being in a very restrictive environment for a long period of time. It's actually super easy to understand why somebody could hate LGBT people, why somebody could be racist, et cetera, et cetera. If you grew up your whole life never seeing any of them, um, but that's but that's a I mean I I can never prove that. But what else? Oh, the war. Okay, I don't know what it is. But Mr. Girl's fans are something else, dude. Okay, here's okay. I love Max. We're still okay, even though he might not feel like it. Um, I don't know why Forthon started banning Mr. Girl fans. <laughs> Listen, I give my mods a lot of autonomy, okay? So I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but apparently one of the reasons why Hitler's army was so effective in World War II was because he didn't micromanage his generals. He basically sent them off and he said, listen, you guys do your shit. If you think there's a good attack, fucking go for it. Don't send word back to me. Just handle your shit. And if you fuck up, I'm probably going to throw you in fucking Auschwitz, okay? Good luck. And that's what they did. And they were effective. They were strong. They did their shit. So I just, I, you know, you guys see me arguing with the bear. Why do you ban that guy? And he's like, okay, fine. And I'm like, you know, you do your thing. The bear does his thing. Forethought does his thing. I just kind of like sit up here and I, you know, I watch them. Do you know that Hitler lost the war? Well, you know. <clears throat> I know Mr. Girl said, but it's really extreme, but part of it should be attributed to you doing a purge. And before that saying, I don't mind losing you guys, Mr. Girl. No, I like his, I don't know how to say this out like sounding like an asshole, but like, his fans are on like another level when it comes to like posting the subreddit. Like there'll be some shit where it'll be like, I should I should be saving examples, I guess. If you know, you've, if you've seen the post, you know. If you haven't, you haven't. But there'll be some shit where like, Mr. Girl will be talking to someone and it'll be like, I am gonna rape you. And then the other person will start crying. And like a Mr. Girl fan will be in the subreddit and it'll be like, a lot of the people here just don't seem to understand what Mr. Girl's project is, and that's to force people to have conversations that they're not comfortable with. It's not his responsibility to be babying other adults out of their ineptitude and their uncomfortabilities when it comes to engaging in topics that are incredibly difficult. The onus is on the other conversational partner to express when they're not comfortable with the conversation. It's not fair to make that demand of Max. Like, that's like the, and I'm like, bro, are you serious? What the fuck? Or like after the, um, after all like the, uh, Jesus, what was it like the, the after the starter stuff? Like people were like, oh, Stardust and Cherry, who by the way fucked up one hundred percent, of course. People were like when they posted that, they proved Max right about every single thing ever. Like no, they didn't. What are you talking about? Why would you even say that? Like oh my god, it's um, Mr. Girl somehow makes people autistic. It's if you think I'm like a manic pixie dream boy, Mr. Girl is like manic pixie dream boy, like on twenty x steroids. I think that he just he has like the type of 
captivating like personality and disposition to like draw and like and get people to be like the most obsessive i think it's just like the, it's just the style of it's just his personality type i think um which is there's nothing inherently wrong with that it's just it can be very irritating to deal with those types of um with those types of fans i also don't there's something that he he's he's gonna have reasons why he doesn't do any of this but like it's just this is just my perception he made a really novel insight into um some of Dr. K's stuff that I actually agreed with in retrospect. And one of those things was pushing somebody really hard in a 30 minute conversation and getting them to cry is not like a breakthrough. That doesn't mean that you're doing a good job at giving them therapy and now they've like learned something. It just means that you're like pushing really, 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 really hard in a public situation in an emotional way to get them to cry. And then like afterwards, of course, they're gonna feel good after some emotional release. And he made that observation about Dr. K. I was like, that's actually, yeah, that's actually kind of true. I do agree with that. But I feel like he plays off the same type of dynamic. Where it's like push, 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 push. Are you uncomfortable? Okay, push, 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 push. Now you're super emotionally compromised, and now I'm gonna deliver like my very empathetic message. And I was like, Jesus. But I feel like he does like a lot of the same shit. Um, and I don't know. It drives me fucking crazy. But yeah, I don't think he's like. Is he perma banned from the show? I mean, I imagine I'll unban him. Um, and uh, I don't. Or I think I will. I'm pretty sure I will. Depending on what forethought is doing, but he is perma ban. Well, I mean, I'll unban him, Dan. I'll probably unban him tomorrow. I don't want to perma ban him. That's insane. Let that loser have his own subreddit forethought. We can't keep. He's a content creator. We're not gonna perma ban him, okay? Okay. Uh, you have upheld my ban. True. Uh, I said I'd ban from I, your subreddit. I, well, I don't even know what lives in Forethought is his own entity. I said I doubt you're perma banned. I would like, I'd obviously I'd unban you at some point. I just haven't like looked at anything yet. But I mean, you're not perma banned, damn. That would be wild. I'm not perma banned, but you so far have upheld my. You Forethought does what you say. If you told, if you unban me, he wouldn't reban me. Forethought is, is is an independent institution of moderation. He does as he does. I institute the power to moderate in him, and he does his moderation stuff. Okay, but, like, so you can't unban somebody if he bans them. Uh, I mean, I could, yeah, but he kind of like runs shit. You could, okay. Could, yeah. So you are choosing to not. Can, can can you not hide? Are you really gonna hide behind your mod? Um, when you say you are upholding his ban, it sounds like you're trying to transfer the decision and responsibility of his ban onto me just because I'm above him. Yes. And while it is technically true that yes. I could supersede the ban, that's not where the ban comes from. I don't think I would have ever banned you, but he did. So the decision lies with him. Now, if you want to ask the question, like, do you have the power to undo any bans? Then yeah, sure. But if you want to apply that all the responsibility lies with me because I necessarily have the power to overturn it, I don't necessarily think that that connotation is fair. But the, I mean, I guess to answer your questions in the way that makes you happy, yeah, I guess I would be upholding your ban then since I'm choosing not I mean, to undo you, the ban. I mean, you yeah. own the ban. Uh, if that's if it makes you feel better for me to say that, then yeah, sure. Well, that's a way for you to not say it. So you're not really saying it. I wasn't the one that banned you. you I know. wouldn't have banned you. But if Forethought decides to ban you, I defend my moderators. Yes. Okay. So you okay? Um, can I? Will you tell me the reason for my ban? Um, or your reason for defending the ban? Uh, yeah, I, I think his. I don't want to misquote him, but I think his reason is just that he was. Time to go postal on Mr. Girl posters related to the war, and I think you gave a snarky answer on some post, and he's like, "Fuck this guy," and he took you out. Okay, and what is your defense of that? Other than it is forethought, he is my moderator, and I defend my moderators. Do you? Why are? Why is that okay with you? Um, well, I mean, I entrust my moderators to enact their privileges as they do so. Same thing with RTB. I don't usually question his bans. I mean. Okay, I, so you I, don't have any personal thoughts or investment or anything in particular with this is just another ban, another day? Not, yeah, I mean, if you, I think if you've seen any of the messages that have been posted, it's, I was a little bit incredulous that he was <laughs> banning as much as he was. I think I messaged him twice, but on Discord, and then I asked in chat if it was actually really happening, and yeah, it seemed like he was doing it. But, like, but not so incredulous that you would actually tell him to stop or reverse the ban? Uh, no, I entrust him to enact uh, his moderation as independently as he feels necessary. But like, I imagine at some point, I'm probably like, okay, well, it's time to chill. I'll probably start unbanning people, All right. or at least unban you. Yeah. Okay. I think you're doing a little bit of a good cop, bad cop routine with me here. Um, let me restate what I said. Um, I understand that you'd like to frame things in your way, but I'm not going to let you do that. I'm going to tell you specifically that my moderators have a wide amount of discretion in terms of them doing what they do. And I even disagree with them. And there are times where my chat makes funny for it. Like RTB bans people. like, I don't know if we should unban that guy. Sometimes I'll unban them and RTB will reban them. It's like, oh, fuck it. That's what the bear says. The bear has all of his shit in his mind for why he bans people and blah, blah, blah. And I generally trust him. It's like, okay, if you want to do that, that's fine. And then same thing with forethought. So somebody comes at me and they're like, did you really approve of like RTBA banning me? Um, the answer is probably no. I don't know. I probably, I probably wouldn't have banned you. 
because I don't usually ban people at all for anything. I'm pretty, unless they like go like hard on, on me generally. I don't like, um, I'm just not that active in moderating stuff. Um, but like, if you want to say like, well, did you approve this specifically? I mean, no, I didn't. But if you want to say, do you approve of it? I mean, I generally approve of like what my moderators do, but um, yeah, that's about, okay. yeah, go ahead. What's up? So beyond saying you approve of what they do, are you willing to say why you approve of this? You just, I asked well, you I mean, the, the whole point of giving them moderation like deference is that okay, I so don't sign so, off on individual okay, actions. So you're not gonna, yeah. you're not gonna make an independent comment. Yeah, okay. not generally. Yeah. Um, am I going to be allowed to say right now what I see is happening? Yeah, you can or say whatever you want. You're, this is this is my Discord. Now we're in my world. Forethought can't hurt you here. I don't think so. Yeah, you can say what you want. Okay, I think you're doing a little bit of a good cop bad cop routine. Okay, gotcha. Here where um, this is all in service of you, but you get to appear to be open to criticism, which mm -hmm. I don't think you are. Okay. You get to appear to be not ban happy, which I believe you are. Okay. You basically get to externalize anything that would make you look bad into the foil, forethought in this case. Okay. And appear super reasonable, but you're not that reasonable. I don't think you are. I think you're pretending to be more reasonable and much thicker skinned than you are in reality. And okay. I, um, I believe this is the, uh, the plight of the orbiter where if we, you're like, um, you're like, uh, an action star is contractually obligated to win every fight in every fight scene it is in. And I can be in the movie. I can come in, I can, I can fight with you and whatever, but I have to lose. And if I don't lose an argument with you, mm -hmm. um, you just say that I did, and then, and then just start banning people. It's just, it's just like I just watch history get rewritten by you. You get to just choose the narrative, and with this, I feel like this is what all we're fighting over is narrative control um, over me and like my, my, my biggest existence on the internet right now is on your platform. Right? Like, I don't, I don't, my own platform is tiny, but you're saying shit in comments like I'm brigading you or astroturfing. And it just, it just feels like you're, um, you get to say what I said. You get to say what I meant. And anybody who pushes back on you, including me, gets banned. Okay. It feels fucked up, but I. But separately, mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I don't. I don't like being your orbiter. I like you. Sure. I love you. Okay, so as let's I said, sort through a couple I, things. I mean that. To really be quick, okay. So, yeah. one, everything you just said is not true. There's plenty of criticism of my sub that stays. There's plenty of criticism that you've done to me that have stayed. That does not um, refute what I just said. <clears throat> um, no, but your statement sounds far more absolute than the truth is. The idea that like there's no room for criticism is just that's patently false. No, no, false. you have to appear. You know, you appear that there's room for criticism. No, 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 no. You're skills. just wrong. There is plenty of room okay. for criticism. There are plenty of people that criticize me there that haven't well, been banned. Of course, you'd say that though. You're no, I wouldn't say that. There are. Do you want me to find you examples of people criticizing me on my sub that haven't no, been banned? No, you have to. You can't ban all criticism of you, or you'll look like a megalomaniacal. Cool. Crazy okay, person, so then we do obviously. agree that some criticism of me exists on my sub. We do agree that. Yes. Cool. Okay. Absolutely. So some criticism does exist there. It's not none. Yes. Um, typically when I moderate, what I am looking for is to avoid huge circle jerks because sometimes those destroy communities. There are things that I'll like pump the brakes on. Um, if I think that things are getting like a little bit out of hand, um, you've yeah. had a lot of criticism of me. There's been a lot of stuff said, blah, 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 blah. I think the thing that ramped it up probably in forethoughts head, um, was him, uh, you declaring war on the subreddit. And then it felt like a lot of yes. people from your community were like making these huge posts of like, I don't have a community. I, there's not a lot of, those are all every 99% of my fans are your fans. Sure. But okay. People making that in service of defending you, I think was, um, okay. But I feel like you're doing this. No true Scotsman thing where if somebody is a fan of me, they are no longer a fan of you, which is actually becoming true. I never said that if they're not a fan of if they're a fan of you, they're not a fan of me. I've never said that. That's you just totally invented that completely. Um, You're allowing your mod to ban people just for being fans of me. He said, "I'm going to." <clears throat> I think eventually. I think Grove that's fans. what. Yeah, I think that's what it evolved into. Um, okay. Well, so whatever this, whatever, whatever, even if it evolved there, I don't have a separate community. You are excising me from your community. Sure. I think that the awkward place that we're trying to to struggle with now, and I'll probably have like a, again, this is my first day back. I'll probably have like a more serious conversation before that about this. But the idea that like you can use 
my community or the subreddit, I guess, like as your community and then post on it and then make suggestions or almost, I don't want to say ultimatums about moderation as such, I guess is it probably triggered the fuck out of forethought. And um, that's probably why he got really bad happy on stuff. That'd be my guess. Well, I mean, yeah, I am making ultimatums. They're not, but yeah, I but it's not, but how do you, but, not, but, not, but wait, wait, but with what right? Like how, with, the, with the fucking basic human dignity. Like to I, tell somebody, I, wait, honestly, how can you use basic human dignity to tell someone else, like, this is how you need to start moderating your community? Like, it's not your community absolutely, to moderate. Absolutely, absolutely. You can, no, no, you're, you're, re, you're reframing that, but absolutely, it is, it's totally fair for a colleague or orbiter of yours to say, like, look, I don't like how I'm being treated, and I don't want to stand, I don't want to put up with it. And, like, I, I'm, I, I'm positive I'm not the first person to feel this way, and I just, I'm not, like, I, I say I love you personally and I, I have very strong feelings about you like as my friend but i'm not your fucking sycophant okay and like Max, I, if this I means that i can't really wait one second if this means i can't work with you um or i can't po be in your part of your community that's fine but i don't want to be kicked around and be the be constantly redefined with your thumb on the scale of how i performed or who i am or what i say I, there's just like so many narratives about me I, i'm watching getting spun and it's like this, this you think that you're the dark... first person that's had this shit happen to you on Destiny subreddit? No. Then why I'm do not you saying think I am. you're the only one that's making this big of a fucking stink over it? Because I have I have a spine and I'm willing to sacrifice my career. Or I'm maybe willing to that sacrifice. You're, you're digging way too deep into something that's like so fucking minuscule that nobody else would like give nearly as much of a fuck as you. Well, that's not true. There's other people who have been upset about this very publicly. Yeah, but and then they I... get the fuck over it, like adults. I don't know if this is the best no, argument. No, they, no, they don't get over it. They backstab Steven, and they try to destroy him. They don't get over it. They turn into his fucking arch nemeses. You don't think I'm that there's gonna... been, like, every single orbiter of destinies that has been dunked on incessantly on his di yeah. in his Discord, on his subreddit, on his stream, yeah. to the point where they take a fucking break from the internet and then they come back and everything's fucking fine again yes that sounds like an abusive relationship that they should probably set boundaries about which is all i'm doing they're not really ultimate and not, there's no real war i'm just setting boundaries and i'm saying look dude you are kind of shitting on me you're shitting you're on me in a subtle boundaries way. for how he runs his community you're not setting boundaries well, i, I can't wait i can't i'm setting no i'm setting boundaries for my own participation i'm setting boundaries for my own participation i can't control how he runs his community all i can do is say look if you want me to be part of this then this is how it needs to change well did, i mean like to be fair didn't the initial conversation you had between i think me and Ford that was basically saying that like the way you moderate your community is bad and these are the changes you need to make that was kind of a yes well, what what is like the threat? Obviously, the only, the only, like wait, only, obviously the only, the only threat I... In order for you to even, like, con continue to interact with Yeah, him. if I come over to your house and you're, you're beating your kids, then I can say, like, look, I really need you to stop doing that, or I don't want to come over for dinner anymore. It's a, it's a totally reasonable thing. Most orbiters don't have boundaries. Most orbiters are not willing to push... That's why Steven gets away with this shit, where he can be all friendly to your face and then make moderating decisions that completely fuck you over. Well, I don't make the moderating decisions as forethought, to be clear. Okay, okay. Playing right, a little fast and loose with... Okay, yeah. Whatever, whatever. You're, whatever the fuck you're doing, it sucks. The distinction I'm is important, being, but... Being your orb... I, it's not important to the orbiter. Being your orbiter fucking sucks. And the reason it sucks is because you are insistent on rewriting history to make it so that I am a loser. And I don't... I, I you made like a post that got like 500 like upvote or 500 comments and it was pretty massively upvoted saying like oh look at this I told you so I was right about Fuentes how is that making anybody a loser like it seems like you had like a pretty positive reception of my subreddit what do you mean it wasn't I until did, like the war within, started within and everything 24 hours of, but within 24 hours of making that post your head mod is saying that he's going to ban all my fans and then banned me and you're upholding <laughs> it so this is a good example of why I'm I think this further is my my argument that I'm not really allowed to win an argument with you. Okay, I just, I totally disagree. I think that, like, when you preface things with, like, we're going at war with this sub, and then people start getting, like, mass banned yes. and shit, like, that's probably what's gonna happen. No, that's only gonna happen if you're, you're, if you, the authoritarian leader of your sub, with an iron fist um, controlling the narrative around everything that happens, that's, that's assumed. People are like, oh, it's the consequences of my action. You can declare war on my sub, you're not banned from my sub. And, the, and one day, if I'm ever bigger than you, you okay, will hold still on, wait, be welcome even that to false, come into my yeah, sub. I was going to say that comparison, a is a fucking loser. that comparison doesn't really work well, right? Because I don't have anything to gain from like going to war with your sub, right? It would literally just make me look bad. 
So I I don't I don't think the comparison is necessarily like okay. one to one, but I, like. Do you understand when I say war? I'm just saying, I strongly disagree with your moderating decisions, and I don't want to participate in the community, um, in in any way other than complaining about your moderating decisions until they change. Well, sure, but like let's say and then you get banned from that. Like, what are the two alternatives? Either I have to acquiesce, or forethought acquiesces to your demands, or you get banned. Like how what, it sounds yeah. like you're trying to argue that like you have the right to say that like well this is how it should go like you should no no the, we don't know it doesn't have to be resolved we can just be in conflict I can no hold on that's not decisions. true no no that doesn't work okay perpetual conflict right. like that isn't healthy <laughs> you have, there has to be some resolution I, I, I just I totally disagree that's I great that's I disagree you're wrong experiment like, is the American experiment is founded on perpetual there conflict is a different no no the rulers the, and the American experiment rules. is the, is the is conflict that exists between a people and a government. That's different between um, conflict between communities or interpersonal conflict or conflict with moderation. Those are two completely and totally no. different things. Well, I disagree. I think constant conflict is inevitable in relationships, and I don't think it's true <clears throat> that you have to ban me if I complain about the moderating, and I don't think it's true that you have to cave. Okay, constant conflict is not inevitable. And also, and even if there is conflict... Who just disagrees with your moderating Even if there is conflict that happens in relationships, the goal is to minimize the conflict. It's not That's to, your goal. That's everybody. That's, that's every goal of every healthy relationship is to minimize the conflict. Okay, then I, then I don't want a healthy relationship. Okay, well that's fine. But then if you don't want a healthy relationship with another community and you end up getting like banned for the community, I mean that doesn't seem like a surprising thing. Like I want a relationship that is well, infinitely yeah, that's fine. Conflict. Your definition of healthy is complacence. No, I my definition of healthy is moving people into places where they are relatively happy and content with the way that things are within with some respects of the relationship. Like you can make changes or make demands, but the idea that you want an infinite conflict with a community just sounds like a recipe for disaster. Why would anybody want no, that? No, I don't want into I don't want infinite conflict. I'm saying I just disagree with your assumption that you either have to ban me or cave to okay, my Okay, you just totally changed the you true. can't say I don't want infinite conflict and then say, Well, actually conflict is an important part of every relationship and your goal is to minimize conflict and my goal isn't and I, I want it to have perpetual No, hold on. You no no. When you say to set boundaries and not be hold on. a flunky wait, wait, wait. loser You're playing... anymore. I, I don't hold want on. to Stop. be orbiter Stop. anymore. I'm not Stardust. You don't play war games with me, okay? You don't say, I think that conflict is inevitable, but in the prior sentence you said, I am going to remain in perpetual conflict with your sub. Because the latter there sounds like, oh, well, maybe conflict happens, but what's Did really happening is... you shot you just took about the no. word games I played with Stardust? You're not even letting me finish. Yes, because you are. And oh, I'm... why would I let you finish when you're fucking sneaking in shit about other shit? No, because you. Play... I don't, because I don't no, no, want to let because you do play... that no, That's you a just perfect example I can't even of the shit sentence. I don't want to put up okay, with Okay, I'm just going to finish my sentence. When you do that, I don't care about what you're saying. Okay, you, you're you're writing history in real time while complaining that I'm doing it. Okay, you can't you you can't change the the, the definitions of everything on the fly over and over again. Okay, you can't say like well conflict is a natural part of relationships, but then prior to that say like I'm going to remain in conflict with your subreddit forever. Like those are two wildly different statements. In one of those you make the conflict sound incidental, like maybe it just happens sometimes. But in the former you're actually like intentionally pursuing the maximum conflict route. You can't pretend that like these I've, two things are the same. They're two, two very different ways of going about things. I think as long as you are mistreating your orbiters, and as long as I am one of your orbiters, I am going to complain about it. Okay, but I'm not even my if goal. You can't stand being in if you can't stand being in conflict with me, then I agree. You're either going to ban me <clears throat> or cave. Okay, so but I, I didn't ban you, and you I'm not to. the one seeking conflict with you. It's you seeking conflict with my subreddit, and Forethought happens to be the de facto authoritarian second in command of the subreddit. Like, okay, that's I'm his. Seeking, I'm seeking. Yeah, I'm seeking conflict with your subreddit because of the passive aggressive shit you do that I don't like. What is the passive? What passive aggressive shit that I do? Letting uh, my moderators have wide point. deference over how they moderate communities? That causes passive aggressive shit to you? No. Do you actually want an answer? Well, sure. Okay. Just now you said the word games you play with Stardust. That was a little jab that you get to sneak in, right? If I snuck in a jab about you like that, you would take me to the fuck and you would, you would kick my ass over it. Stop. But You've you already realize. done that exact thing in here by implying that I am in a, an abusive relationship with everybody that is friends with me online. Do you remember saying that or do I need to go find the clip and remind you of you saying that? I remember saying okay, that. Okay, so don't say that I, you never take little jabs at me when you literally did that by saying that verbatim, and then I reply back, like, hold on, you're playing word games, and I know that sometimes with other people, with weaker chatters, you can do that, but, like, I'm not gonna let you just redefine things in the middle of a conversation to make yourself sound, like, really, really, really good, when the reality is, is that, like, what you're advocating for is not, like, a cool thing, it's like a max reframe to make something really fucked up sound normal, like saying you should pursue maximum conflict in your relationships, which is a wild thing to say, and if you want to say that to somebody else, you're gonna that's no, fine, but that's not gonna happen in a conversation with me. That. I didn't say that, but you're going to make it so that I did, and you're going to ban anybody who disagrees no, with No, that's lit! I didn't... Me saying that you're in an abusive relationship with your orbiters is not an aside. That's not a jab. That is why I am in this conversation with you. That is the thing we're talking about. Okay, I and I, and when I'm having conversations with you, abusive. unlike in conversations with other people, I don't let you get away with the sneaky redefining of the words to make extremely not, abnormal not, statements sound normal, like okay. you should have conflict in all of your relationships, and that's healthy and good, when it's not. 
I think conflict is inevitable in relationships, and I don't think that you have to avoid it. I think you're conflict avoidant, and I think that is the frame that you approach conflict. I didn't say like, you had to us, avoid. What did I say earlier? Break. There's a different, there's an R word that you use. It's not avoid conflict, it's resolve conflict. You seek to resolve conflict. If you maintain conflict in perpetuity, it is bad, period. There is no max redefining of that to make that okay. an okay thing. Conflict does not need to exist perpetually. It might, as a result of two people in any organization or any like relationship, they might have conflict, but your goal whenever conflict yes. arises is to resolve it. Not to open it perpetually, which is what you implied you were going to do by being in a subreddit that you're not happy with, whose moderation styles you want to change, that you don't have any control over, yes. which is to imply that you want to seek maximum, unavoidable, uh, okay. perpetuated conflict, which is not healthy. And then you gave that little a explanation goal? to make it sound like that's always going to happen. Goal? Like it's incidental yeah, and not, uh, not pur purposeful. Sorry, go ahead. A goal of resolving it is great, <clears throat> but I disagree that it is required that you either cave or ban me. However, that may be how you feel. But as your, as your orbiter, I'm telling you, the experience sucks. Where we have a conversation, and then during the conversation, you define what I'm saying for me, and you get to define it afterward, and then you get to put your thumb on the scale of and tell the community literally what to think of me, and always what they should think of me is something <clears throat> bad. Okay, for one, my thumb is sucks. always going to be someone on the scale. It's my community. Of course the thumb is going to be someone on the scale. Especially if there's another content creator that's putting his thumb on the scale in the other way, right? We're literally like gods wading into the subreddit to have battle, and you expect me no, to not participate when you're out there. I don't have access to the scale. You do to some people. extent. You're, of course you do. What do you mean you don't have access to the scale? You have your fans uh, that will very rigidly defend you in my community, and then you go into the yes. subreddit and you make posts, and you sway the way that people think about things. But I cannot control what you say. I never you said you, hold control, on, I never, hold you, on, you, stop, you why are you saying this? You just, no, stop. I didn't say ever that you control what I say. What we were both just talking that's about is can we put- I'm talking when I say you're- No, that is not the scale, scale. that's not the moderation. scale. No, hold on, that is, okay, if you wanna talk about moderation, you can say moderation, but that's not the yes. scale. The thumb on the okay, scale can be I mean. a lot of things. That's okay, then I mean just say moderation. that, okay. So I'm, erase yeah. everything that was just said, okay. So I'm the only one with control of moderation, of course, but it's my community, obviously. Yes, yes, and you use the moderation to define me as an autistic, loser i i don't think i use my community's moderation tools to define you as an autistic loser i think that well, there I are think you do well it, then in that case i think um forethought can come back and we now at this point reviewing individual bands is going to be hard since he went maximum unhinged mode but um i don't know i i mean like we can always like go over bands i guess of the future and you can say if it's fair or not but like I don't want to play an active part in your the moderation of your subject. You clearly what do, I, though, because is, you're unhappy no, with I how don't. the moderation style. No. The moderation yeah. style is not going to change in a I'm, way that I'm appeases unhappy. you. It's not. There's not going to be like, a, okay, Max is right. We need to dramatically change everything. That's not going to happen. There's no world where that happens. That's so fine. there has to be some That's active fine. role you, that you, you have. You don't have to think I'm right. No, That's but I'm fine. saying like you can have a role and like I think we should go over this band or that band. Like oh, fuck, I, I don't want to play Factorio, so I'll have those conversations on stream if that's what you want to talk about. Like I'm fine with that. No, no, I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to do that because that's just the same thing. You get to chill any agreement with me or any support of me by going full out, literally just banning people because they're fans of me. Then you well, get that's to play a the recent thing that Forethought is going to be. You get right. to play the good guy where I come back and say, well, you shouldn't ban this person. I get to spend two hours groveling to you. Well, you say, okay, I guess I'll show mercy to this person and that person. It's a fucking abusive relationship. It's and I don't, it's, hold I don't, on. I don't want I, to It's be, not one, it's not an, wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait. One, it's not an abusive relationship. That is not true. It okay. is. No, I think stop. it is. It's, you're wrong. It's not. Well, I'm okay. saying, I'm telling you, I think that you are abusive to your orbiters and I. I think it's wrong. Do you think that it's abnormal for different parts of a community to be moderated in a autonomous way for a Reddit no, and a Discord? Okay. So then why are you asking for Destiny to change the way that his his entire community like overall is is moderated? Because his lead areas? mod his lead mod um, hates me and bans people for agreeing with me, and it creates this um, mold, this this muggy, dark, hot, warm area where anti Mister Girl sentiment gets to fester, and then it turns into like, well, my biggest platform on the internet is making this group of people hate me because of the way that they're moderated and because of the way that Stephen defines me. After I, I, I don't think that's the afterward. only reason why people have problems. Number one, but number two, the, it no, seems it's like the, it's not the only reason. I'm not saying it's the only reason, but sure. it is. It this it is might be a, a contributing thing, sure. But I, I can understand that. But the um, yeah, 
but like the alternative is what that it has to be like a community that like incessantly like supports you or it has to be like a mr girl like no, stand community absolutely or? not i i think like there's <clears throat> other communities where people get banned for saying nice things about you and you routinely mock those communities and now your community is one where people get banned for saying nice things about me and we're fucking friends so it's kind of weird we're supposed to be allies we're supposed to be colleagues and yet, you get banned from your community if you say nice things about that's me. Not, that that's not. That was not true. Like, you didn't just get banned just for saying nice things about you. That wasn't true. It was usually because the there are just certain people. Fourth, like, now, now it is. Yes. He, but you can't. Yes, you're now, playing a game now, now where you're trying now, to make all of the prior bans and everything sound like the same as what changed like one no, day ago or two now, days ago. That's not current, true. The current situation is sure. if you're a fan of Mr. Girl, you get banned from your community. That is the current the situation. Is, yes. Yes. And if you're a fan of destiny and vosh's community you get banned for that if you're a fan of blah 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 it's just another fucking thing another another like as if we're enemies except we're not we're well friends. but the so difference was that i like you explicitly announced a war against my subreddit <laughs> yes and i understand that your mods are using that as cover or an excuse but war all that war meant was I am. I'm making a stand. I'm well, that's not. You can. Talk, you can. You're making a stand. You're making a confrontation. There are people that posted like huge posts about like, hey, like, um, you know, uh, you know, maybe the way that you're utilizing the subreddit might not be appropriate. Or, and I think you literally responded to no. And that's I think what Forethought banned you for. Um, that's fine. Yeah, I said no to somebody. Sure, but I I'm just saying like, hold on. But don't, don't. But okay. But your prior, your case is unique. You can't be like, oh, well, this is just like Vosh's about it. No, it's not. I never declared war against Vosh's subreddit. Um, no, you never declare war against anybody. You're the good guy. You just do things that alienate mm -hmm. people until they freak out. And most people are not co tolerant of conflict. And so they get mad at you or you get mad at them. And then they stop fucking speaking to you. And then they start betraying you and stabbing you in the back. And there's people predicting that I'm going to do that to you. Gotcha. People saying that like I'm gonna start mass flagging you. Okay. Do you do you realize that you're engaging in a form of gaslighting here? I can't tell if you know you're doing this or not. After D creates a monster in his stream laboratory and sets it to loose on the world, it turn turns around and mauls him. Example number three eight yes, four zero. Okay. Do you think so I've mauled you? When you're saying things like you get to play the good guy. You're implying yeah. that I have this, everything I'm telling you is a lie, and I'm constructing this world where I'm I'm actually lying to everybody about why I do the things that I do. I've got a perfect cover so that I always come no, up as you say, good guy. You know Stop, doing it. don't say no, it's... you said it. It doesn't matter if I know I'm doing it, but I've constructed I a don't... world. I didn't say I know, yes. maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm gaslighting unintentionally, yes. but that's the implication yes. you're making. This is yes. And this is the whole lot, yes, okay. You are gaslighting me by saying that. That is not the case. I understand why I moderate my community the way that I do. I understand why I do all the things that I do. And it's not so that I can be the good guy or play the good cop. There are times where I fight with my moderators. I don't know if I fought with Forethought before, but I fought with RTBA over a ton of bands. It's literally a classic okay. thing on my stream. I think that RTBA has almost quit my stream before because of moderating disagreements. And I think Forethought has almost quit moderating my sub because I used to do yearly unbans where I would unban every single fucking person on the sub. They're like, yeah, let's start over again because I like unbanning people. And I think Forethought and RTBA were like, if you do this again, we're fucking quitting. Um, so like the idea that I like created this perfect world where I can be the good guy all the time and, and offload all of the dirty work onto my Gestapo mods is not true. And when you are implying that I'm doing that, you are literally gaslighting while simultaneously calling me an abuser, which is like one of the worst things that you could do to somebody. And if I was a different type of person, it would severely mentally fuck me up. Do you understand that that is what you're doing? You're engaged in that right now. No, I think that the way you interact with your orbiters is abusive. And I think I'm fine standing by that. I don't think it's one of the worst things you can do to somebody to call them out on abusive behavior. I think if you think that you're being abused, you should say something. Okay. Like I don't, I don't think the way that you treat your orbiters is fair, or me in particular. And I don't, I don't want to be treated like that. So I'm making a stand. Gotcha. Okay. I, Rose is like about to stop his like last stream ever. So I want to finish talking to him, and then we okay. can talk about this at a separate point if you want. Anytime. Listen, listen. I, I have to go anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to go do my my thing. Okay. Um, any any final words from anybody? Um, I still love you. For me, <laughs> we we'll chat. We can chat about this more uh, tomorrow or whatever. I'll, I'll be streaming. So yeah, I, well, I just wanted to say that like our, I don't feel that our friendship is. Um, I'm not talking about our friendship. I don't. I don't like. I I I love you and I'll continue to love you. It may be that like professionally we have to change things or take a break or something from the way we're working together. But yeah, I uh, I have no. I'm, it's it's not personal. It's uh, I mean like I'm upset, but I it it's not a reflection of how I feel about you like as as um my buddy. Okay, okay. All right. Be careful. All right.